Hello everyone, welcome to happymate.com. So this time we want to cover the measure of position using Excel. So please look at these questions. So using the given data through a box plot. Okay, so now we have this data and then so we just want to find out the minimum, maximum, and quartile 1, 2, and 3 with the range. And then we construct the uh, box plot later. And we can just compare the box plot and then uh, the value we found, basically. So now, the minimum means you know what to do. Equal to uh, MIN, so minimum. So double click and then highlight all this data. Enter the maximum equal to MAX. And then, and then highlight all this data. And now, uh, range means basically max data minus mini data. So that's basically our range. And now quartile one. So finding this one equal to Q U A R and T I R E. Then the last one you should press the last one here. And they highlight everything. And this time we are finding the uh, first quartile. So click one. Close the enter, then quartile two, then equal to quartile, then highlight everything, comma two, enter. Now this equal to quartile three, so choose this one and highlight, comma three, enter. Okay, so those are basically. Uh, the necessary value to construct the box plot. Okay? So then now, but this time we will use Excel, so those value, then now we can utilize it as a checking, uh, those value on, uh, with the basically box plot displaying chart, basically. Okay? Then now, what do we do? Uh, highlight this data first, and go to insert, and click recommended chart, you don't see anything here, so now you can click all chart. Then on this menu, you will see a uh, box when uh, whisper this one. So click that and OK. And now you see this box plot here. So I'm going to change the title as a box plot. And then now, so, so far there's no data value shown. So what I want to do, I'm going to right click, so put any blue box here, then right click, then you will see the add data label, okay, and click that, and then also double click, I right click, and then format data series, and you must click inclusive median, okay, okay, and now after we do that, then minimum is 5, and full time 1, 10.5, and medium 15 and quarter 3 18 and now maximum 37 but so you see that a little bit weird here right so 37 is totally uh above and then above the box plot here so this value basically makes the outlier okay so i'm gonna explain more detail when i explain outlier topic from the next video but uh this box when you create the box plot you in the excel then it is indicated outlier out of the this box plot. Okay, so that's how we actually construct the box plot using Excel. I hope this video um, help you to understand how to draw the box plot using Excel. And I'm gonna see you again with the next part, which is outlier. All right, thank you.